I'm Think So Joe, this is Things You Might Not Know, and today we're going to talk about coffee. Coffee can compete for the number one slot for the most consumed beverage worldwide. This beverage was a major source of debate for centuries, this of course pertaining to its health hazards and potential toxic effect. This drink was able to take over very quickly any country it has ever reached. However, in some countries, it encountered very high resistance. With levies and taxes imposed upon it by the decree of kings, even to the extent of imposing a ban on the commodity, even so, coffee drinking continued to grow in popularity, and when it arrived in Sweden in 1674, it became very much accepted among the wealthy and enlightened, who soon made it their favorite pastime drink. It saw people from all walks of life sitting around a pot even while they discussed other intricacies of government or tried to answer philosophical questions. The general acceptance for coffee soon went from love to becoming something of a sort of addiction or ritual. This love for coffee, however, was not shared by everyone, and one such person who did not share the same love for coffee was King Gustav III. He was the son of King Adolf of Sweden, who ascended the throne after the death of his father. He had the idea that coffee was poisonous and that people needed to know that their beloved drink would soon get them killed. Eager to prove his points to his subject, he proposed an experiment. He would finally get the chance to show his people how horribly wrong it was to drink coffee and get them all informed about its terrible effects. To this effect, he soon laid his hands on certain prisoners, identical twins, who had been convicted of wrongdoings and were scheduled for execution. They had both been convicted of murder. He proposed to have their execution commuted to life in prison, on the condition, however, that one would drink three cups of coffee daily and the other three cups of tea for the rest of their natural lives. The criminals who saw this as a way to survival quickly agreed. I mean, it wasn't like they had much of a choice either. And to monitor the experiment, he had appointed to each person a prominent physician who would monitor their health and report back to him each day. Surely he had felt that both would sooner take ill and die. However, he felt the coffee drinker would be the first to do so, having gulped large amounts of poisonous coffee daily. Unfortunately, both physicians died before the experiment could be brought to a reasonable conclusion, presumably of natural causes. King Gustav III was also assassinated in 1792 and died 14 days later without getting to know the final outcome of his experiment. Among the twins, it was said that the tea drinker was the first to die, aged 83, and the date of the death of the coffee drinker is said to be unknown. In 1820, the ban on coffee was finally lifted and the people went back to enjoying their favorite drink once more. So, did you know about the Swedish coffee ban? Let me know in the comments below, and feel free to leave suggestions for upcoming video topics. If you like this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and also to subscribe to this channel with this button right here. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and as always, thanks for watching.